Hi everyone, today we are learning about mixed measures. So the question asks, how can you solve problems involving mixed measures? All right, everything isn't going to always be all in feet or all in centimeters, all in inches. Sometimes you'll get feet and inches, sometimes you'll get millimeters and centimeters, where you have to change them around and make them the same, and then you have to, um, then you can do th things with them. Just kind of like how we were comparing them when you guys had to write what was the, um, when you had to write the, change them around to compare them. Same thing we're going to have to do here. You're going to have to change things around to add them or to subtract them. You're going to have to make the unit the same. So inches, feet, you would have to change it to one of those. You're not going to be able to do inches and feet, millimeters and centimeters. You won't be able to just subtract them or just add them. You're going to need to change the unit to the same thing. So you're going to have to either change it to centimeters or millimeters. All right, let's get started and you'll understand more once you see a problem. So change the mixed measure. Herman is building a picnic table for a new campground. The picnic table is 5 feet 10 inches long. How long is the picnic table in inches? So the question asks, how long is the picnic table in inches? What information do I know? I know that the picnic table is 5 feet 10 inches long. So I have feet and I have inches. I don't know how long it is just in inches, so we need to figure that out. You can pause the video here and try to figure it out. It would only help you if you did that. And then start it and see if you got it right. All right. Pause and then come back. All right. I hope you tried to figure it out. So here's how they did it. So feet, 5 feet to 10, inch, um, 10 inches. So I got the 5 feet from right here. I got the 10 inches from right here. And we want to know just how long the picnic table is in inches. So we're going to have to add them together. I'm going to have to take the 5 feet and add it to the 10 inches. And that would be how long the whole picnic table is in inches. So you have to change this one right here. How would you change that? Pause and figure it out. If you made a mistake, here's a chance for you to pause and start figuring, fixing your mistake on your paper. Oops. So did you say you have to change 5 feet times 12 because you know 1 foot equals 12 inches? If you said that, you're absolutely correct. So we're going to have to bring that 60 right up there. And then what do you do with the inches? It's already in, in inches. You just bring it on over. Oops, maybe. Just going to have to bring that over. So the inches was, was fine. It was the feet we had to change two inches. So now it's easy to add. 60 inches plus 10 inches, we all know, is 70 inches. So to answer the question, so the picnic table is... 70 inches long. Good. We had to switch the feet to inches and then we just brought the inches over because you can't forget that's a big, you know, 10 inches is a lot. If you're trying to fit it in somewhere or something, you always want to make sure you get that every piece of measurement in there. If you left that out, it would be wrong. It would only be 60 and that's not correct. So make sure you put both of those measurements in there. All right, let's go on to the next one. Herman built the picnic table in two days. We're still talking about that picnic table. The first day he worked for three hours and 45 minutes. The second day he worked for two hours and 10 minutes. How long did it take him to build the picnic table? So we know it took him two days, or he built it in two days. Do we need that two days? Mm -mm. We don't need it. We do need, however, the three hours and 45 minutes because that's how long it took him. And then on the second day, it took him two hours and 10 minutes. He didn't work the 
full two days, he didn't work every minute of those two days. The first day, he worked three hours and 45 minutes. And on the second day, he worked two hours and 10 minutes. So how long did it take him to put build the picnic table? Now, it doesn't say how long in minutes. It doesn't say how long in hours. It just says how long. So in this case, you can leave it in hours and minutes. That would be absolutely fine. All right, so you pause the video and try to figure it out. See if you can do it and then come back and check your work. All right, did you just try to figure it out? Awesome job, very proud of you. So let's do step one. And if any time you see where you made a mistake, you could always pause it and fix your work and then come back. Step one, add the minutes. So did you write it like this? Did you write three hours, 45 minutes? That's how you need to write it because it's separate times. Three hours and 45 minutes is separate. You don't, cannot write 345, will not work. Okay? So let's add the minutes. First, you're going to add... 45 plus 10, if you said you get 55, you are absolutely correct. Then you're going to add the hours. So three hours plus two hours equals, if you said five hours, you are correct again. <coughs> so it took Herman blank to build the table. It took Herman five hours, 55 minutes to build the picnic table. Nice job if you got that. All right, so here we did not, we added mixed numbers, but we didn't have to change them. We just added them how they were. Over here, we had to make a conversion. We had to change five feet to 60 inches, switch that around. And then we could add them because up here it asks for the length of the picnic table in inches. All right, so how can you solve problems involving mixed measures? That is how we did it right there. One way we switched the unit, we switched the feet to inches, and the other way we just added them. We added the minutes first, and then we added the hours. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye, everyone.